met Flavia uh, just a week ago, a little bit more like a week ago, at Stanford. And it was a blockchain conference. And she did a talk there. And I was blown away by the talk. And uh, we met and we talked about the talk. And we connected in a very cool way. And I thought she you know, would be tremendously uh, valuable our community and I just wanted to, you know, um, maybe uh, have you also an experience with her. So, welcome, Fabian. Yeah, so, about a week ago, I was to give a visit at the blockchain conference in Stanford. And um, a week before that, I had um, um, I, I made an outline. I, had, I did some notes, and then I gave the talk to um, uh, to a friend who is somebody who's very uh, knowledgeable in the in the field of um, crypto asset valuation. The title of the talk was let me see if I can remember it even <laughs> uncertainty trust. Resilience and money towards a holistic crypto finance. And so, I, 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 my, 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 um, um, uh, my friend loved it, thought it was excellent. And then I thought, okay, you know, I, I, I need to, I need to prepare a little bit because it's one thing to talk to your friend, and then it's something else to give a public talk. And my collaborator Amanda, she said, okay, I'll make you slides. You say, okay, thanks. And then, and then, I realized I hate slides. <laughs> I hate them. Uh, so I said, and she didn't feel like making them anyway. So I said, okay, no slides. And I said, oh, well, you know, all right. So I'll, I'll just go through my notes, and somehow, somehow, it took them up. And 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 I thought, okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wake up early. I'll wake up early, and and um, and just go through the notes. And then, and I'll, or I'll do it when I, when, I, when I get home. And I ended up never doing it. And I didn't do it. And one more day passed, and I didn't do it. And one more day passed, and I didn't do it. And then on the day, of, on the day I was supposed to give the talk, um, uh, uh, I thought, OK, I'll wake up at 5 in the morning, just like when you're at school. And, and, <laughs> and you do stuff at the last minute. I'll wake up at 5 in the morning, and then I'll go through it, and then I'll go, and it will be OK. And then um, what happened was the alarm clock did not ring. Um, and, and so I woke up already, you know, the conference had already started. And I got there and said, shit, what am, I what am I going to do now? And, and what, what am I going to do? And then I began to get really nervous about it. And I got so nervous and, and said, oh, what am I going to do? And, and <coughs> I felt how, what a resistance I had to give, to, to, uh, to give this talk. So it was like I could, I could, I could, um, and, uh, I, I could call in sick and say, "No way, I'm not doing this." And 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 or or or, or I could also, or I could go through. Um, I could do I somehow manage to go through the notes, but and give the talk that I was that I, that I had planned to talk to give. But that too felt so off. And think, okay, no, not nothing, nothing fits. What am I go what what am I going to do? What am I going to do next? And I was and I got more and more nervous and I got more and and, and really I was feeling like throwing up. And I felt like throwing up and my heart was beating and I was trembling and so, and what how what next now? Then then um in the last in the last minute I was saved by the slide of the person who talked before me. She had a slide, you know, she sent it to me, um, um, uh, I'll, 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 I'll show it to you later, um, where she said, oh, um, a, 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 a wonderful speaker, her name is Michaela uh, Ullero, and she works with Holonic theory, she's the Holonic goddess, that's how she's known. And, and so Michaela uh, um, uh, had a slide um, and, uh, where it said something along the lines of, we don't teach our children to take risks. We need to be willing to make experiments which have a 98% probability of failure. Uh, and, and then I said, oh my god, that's my salvation. <laughs> and I borrowed the slide from Michaela. 
and, um, and, then, and then I just went there and said, look, so um, uh, I, I myself am going here and experiment with a 98% rate of uh, probability of failure, and I invite you, and I invite you to do it with me. And, and like the, I am feeling, I'm feeling terrible here. I have no idea, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. I don't know what is going to happen next. And, and the experiment is to see what will happen next. And, 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 um, um, and then some, some people left, they were, they, they, I don't know, they weren't interested in that. And then other stayed. And, and, then, and, then, and then I just like, okay, so I gather myself a little bit together and then, and then something would come out of my mouth. And then the next thing. So I, so I explained, so just in case, one, one, the thing I felt worse about was that what about, what about Constance and Primavera, the, the conference organizers, and then the people would blame them for, for, for having a speaker who didn't know what she was going to speak about. And, 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 so, and so I explained that was, I was actually qualified. Um, I was actually qualified because I'm an uncertainty specialist, in fact. Right? <laughs> um, and, 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 um, um, and, and, and so, so then I would, um, it, turned, it turned out, it turned out um, um, uh, quite, quite interesting. It's like I had no idea what was happening while, while it was happening. I was just there in my own process, in my own not knowing. Uh, and seeing and seeing what happened, what happened next, and also I told the people the more comfortable they would be with my not knowing uh, and with my anxiety, the more the more they could tolerate my anxiety, the easiest it would be for me. Um, and um, um, so that's then eventually people began to ask to ask stuff. Of, uh, 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 someone asked me someone asked me a content question, and I just. So did not feel like answering it. It would put me in the wrong. It would put me in the wrong place. Um, so okay, that's 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 what happened. And then and then it turned out that it was a success. <laughs> it was a success somehow. Somehow people, uh, uh, a couple of people asked me afterwards, "Are you a performance artist?" And then and then somebody told Constance, the organizer, "Oh, Constance, you managed to find Glenda, the good witch." <laughs> and, so, and then, and then, um, and, um, and then uh, and, uh, people wrote me. You often invited me to to to, to um, uh, uh, come here. And, and 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 then slowly afterwards, I began to realize what had actually happened. Um, and and I loved it. Um, so so one one thing one thing that 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 helped me realize what had happened was Joachim asking me if I could um, uh, come here and do a warm up to connect people. And I went, ah, what warm up to connect people? This is not what I'm about. You know, I'm not in the business of warming. It's 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 in fact in fact <laughs> in fact. I, I'm, this is not this is this is not what I do. Um, uh, it might happen. It, it might happen um, uh, uh, as a result, but it's not. This is not really what I do. And what I really, do, what I am in the business of, is um, uh, uh, putting the invisible on the map and making the invisible in some way, in some way visible. Mm -hmm. And then and then. So that was that was one step. And then said, you know what? Actually, actually, this might be, um, and this might be a solution <laughs> for a question that um, that I have had for 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 for, for many years. Mm. As um, as an uncertainty specialist, so there is uncertainty runs is a common thread that runs through many different aspects of my work. And one of them is to work with, with people one-on-one -on -one with decision-making. And I created this, this uh, way of teaching people how to work with their intuitions in a reliable and systematic way. And, and, and uh, people can always ask me, you know, how are you going to scale this? You have to scale this. And, and, and they say, oh, no, I don't know. I don't want to scale. I'm 
feel like scaling anything. Uh, and, 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 and do what? Like, you know, train people, train people to do, uh, 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 train people that will then go on, train other people and train other people and everything will get more and more and more and more diluted. And uh, it, 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 I don't believe in this and I don't like it and I don't feel like doing it. And then says, okay, write a book. You have to write a book. I don't like writing, I like speaking. And I don't even like working with groups. I only like working one-on-one. -on -one. I need a process. <laughs> or I need someone else's content to work with. So, so then, and then it occurred to me, you know, it might be, actually, it might be um, um, making it, this, this thing that happened, that happened on its own, uh, um, possibly might be, in fact, a way of working with groups. If I myself come there and <laughs> with my anxiety, with my uncertainty, with my content, and take away completely the anxiety is only mine, it's nobody else's, and, and there at the risk, I am the one, I am the one who has the probability of failure and 98% probability of failure and nobody else. And 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 uh, so and so that this might be a way of doing it. Um, and, and then I thought, okay, so well, now, now let, let's see if it is. So let's make now a new experiment. Like <laughs> the experiment with 90 probability of failure has evolved by now. Um, um, and and uh, what I, it has, so right now what I would like, what I am um, curious about, is if I do it, so first is like, can I do it? Can I do it at will? Like, it's like here, no, I am not nervous the way I was then, then right? So, so I'm not nervous the way I was then, but if I look inside myself, I can always find a place, a, a, um, a, um, a, a, a place of uncertainty. So, so would, that, would that work even when it's not as emotionally charged as it was right then? That's, that's one thing. Will, would I be able, like what, what, uh, something that happened is that uh, um, uh, everybody was awake in a way that they were not in the, in the uh, that, that they are not in normal, in normal, in normal talks. It, everybody was paying attention because you know what's this woman there? Um, uh, <laughs> what's, what's happening? And, and, um, uh, and, and uh, so, wait, where was I again? Ah, so mm, there was something, so my, my, my own process then infected other people's attention. And this is something that happens in my work one-on-one. -on -one. I, I infect them. Uh, <laughs> so so, so would, that, would that work? And would that be, would that have an effect on people's working process afterwards. So this is this is this is this is the current experiment. So here I am. I have no idea if it's going to have if it's going to have any if this what's happening now is going to have any effect on your work later or not. And that's what I would like to see. And probably it's going to fail because the thing with the invisible is that it's invisible. It's really very hard. It's really very hard um, to put to put your fingers on. So let's just now let's just now see what happens next. And what let's let's do a little bit of it. And just wait and see what happens. <laughs> and see what happens. So, hmm. Let's see what happens when we wait and see what happens.
So I am beginning to get to get a, a, a little bit nervous. My heart is beating a little bit faster. And that's <laughs> it's working. <laughs> At least in this in this first in this first definition of working, it is working. Also, in the middle of that experiment, um, I, 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 uh, it occurred to me. Okay. All right, 98% of failure, but how do we know? Have we succeeded or failed? Are we, are we succeeding or are we failing? And then I thought, well, um, if it makes a difference for someone, then it's a success. Um, so, and it apparently made a big difference, so I don't know, like maybe I can have one. <laughs> What is with these probabilities of failure? Maybe it's just a trick. I don't know. Yes. Mm. So now, and I feel, and, and I begin to then feel the the. Um, the, the, the impulse to, to tell you some more, to tell you about what, to tell you about uncertainty, to tell you about, to give, to give you some, some, um, um, some more context and some theoretical background, or at least, at least um, um, some way of framing it. And, and um, that would help that would make it easier to make sense of this and so I am tempted I am tempted to do that on the one hand and it also makes my life easier than just to wait here and see what happens next because it's not comfortable really so so, so it, it, it's really it's quite it's quite uncomfortable um, So let's see if I can refrain from it at least a little bit longer. <laughs> How much longer can I stand it? <laughs> yeah. Are you interested in us interacting more? Um, you can ask us, you can do whatever. I'm, 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 I don't have, um, I don't, I don't, you can try it and then we'll see what happens next. If you feel like interacting, please do, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. Are you feeling like helping me? I don't think I've ever been in a talk where there's been this long of dead air. Yeah. And it's been, it's completely yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, this, I realized this, I realized this um, uh, 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 only later too, how much sense it makes that my talk would be that way and not, and not, and not uh, a, a, a content talk. Um, and uh, so there were many things, many things that I realized afterwards, like, of course, it's not that I didn't want to talk because I wasn't prepared, but that I didn't prepare because I wasn't interested in that talk, you know, so, so and, and, that, and that it does not make sense. Uh, and, uh, as, as an, it's, it's like a, it would have been, we had this conversation um, uh, about the difference between a, a, an expert and a specialist. Um, and, and, um, so Christian, Christian um, 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 put me on the website by mistake as an uncertainty expert. And then I, I, I had never thought what's the difference between an expert or, or a specialist. But when I saw that, and so that's very, uh, what? I'm not an uncertainty expert. This does not doesn't fit. This doesn't fit. And, 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 and then we began thinking, okay, what, what is, why not, right? What is, what is then? What is then? Um, uh, an expert? And I'd say an, an uncertainty expert would have given the content talk. Um, uh, uh, that I didn't, you know, <laughs> so that I that that I 
that I, I just couldn't do. And, and, and rightly so. And how, how, how nice is that? How nice is that, that my body's refusal, that my body knew, knew better than my mind, <laughs> that it was still thinking, I should do the stupid talk. I mean, it's not that it was stupid, really, but in some, in some sense, it was not, um, it's not like, that is not the actual contribution that uh, is mine. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, in being an uncertainty specialist yes. um, and working with groups of people, strangers who are coming together or some that, that sort of thing, do people prefer absolute certainty, structure, things that they know how to predict, or are they more comfortable with uncertainty and randomness and putting it together on the fly. Which puts people at ease? Or what do they learn most from? Um. If it's an inappropriate question, feel free to do something completely else. I mean, appropriate, inappropriate, according to what, right? Um, um, it, the question is, what do I feel like answering? Sure. Um, so, yeah. uh, and, and, and do I feel like answering it? And, and, and you know, and it might sound, it might sound like, okay, do I feel like answering? It's like a, um, um, just like I, I didn't feel like giving the talk, and it 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 it, uh, uh, it might sound something like okay, it's whimsical, right? Or it's like I feel like it. I feel like who cares how you feel or how you don't? And uh, 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 and people often they don't care. It's, they, it's as if what they feel is something that is just what they feel. That it doesn't matter. Um, um, that it doesn't. It shouldn't really count. And that there there are some other some other external criteria that. Sh by which they should go by and that should guide them. Um, um, so even, I mean, okay, is that, what, what is appropriate and inappropriate here now? I mean, really, what is appropriate? <laughs> how, how could one possibly answer, right? Um, and, and, um, and, and, and in fact, it's like with this dismissal of the subjective as if it's not real, or that there is no, no, uh, um, uh, this is, it's, it's like it's invisible and yet, and yet it is, um, 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 there is, there is real important information in it, fundamental information that you get through resonance, not through some concept here and some concept and through some logical manipulation of symbols. Um, and, and like, just like I did not feel like I did not feel like giving that talk, and 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 and, and there was I in a situation and having to and, and, and having to deal with with the, with the situation and something new emerged from that. So my 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 um, uh, likes and dislikes um, um, they led they, they they led to something that was much more valuable 
I think not just for me, um, um, and, and, and then, um, then what my mind thought that I was supposed to do. Um, So, you know, your question, I can't answer it like this because there is no general, there is no general answer. Um, like always this or always that, you should this, you should that. I don't, it, yeah. Um, yes. I'm curious whether you've been in a situation where the metric for success is the determination of the amount of uncertainty rather than uh, having a task list or having a, a bunch of, say, do A, B, C, D, E. Right? So a typical thing is, let's say you're in a project, you know, the metrics for success or the, the criteria for success is the project does this, the project does this, the project does this. Uh, and so my question is, is there, is there a scenario where really the project is, in the end of it is, we're uncertain, but, and we have some way of measuring that uncertainty, uh, and we have something by, and having measured that uncertainty, we're learning something from it. Okay, wait. So maybe the, um, um, Measuring, measuring the uncertainty. Um, so uncertainty, as I define, is what escapes what's already formatted, right? So the moment, the moment you would, the moment you you would um, format it like the DAO, it is, it, it's no longer that. Um, so, so um, um, I don't know. I don't put much value in in quantitative measurements. Um, um, the the um, um, what it is really a, a um, in terms of in terms of coming to decisions um, and, or having something you show up, then then you know it's a, it, uh, it's an experience. You, when some it, it, so it, so let's see. Um, wait, twice ago. All right. Let's let's let let's make let's make it let's make it more um, more palpable, and then maybe you can ask your question in a different way. Mm. You know what it's like when you make a decision and everything looks perfect, perfectly reasonable and rational on paper, and you can explain it to anyone, and something inside goes, it doesn't sit right. You know what I mean? Do you know this 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 type of experience? In the sense that it, it, it intellectually makes sense, but emotionally there's something lacking. No, I'm, I'm I'm asking you. Do you know this experience? That some that you can you can explain it, you can justify it, you can convince anybody of it. Po, po, oh, maybe not anybody, but somebody. Um, uh, and and but something inside you mm, 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 complains. Mm, you have a funny feeling. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Has yeah. it happened to you? Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, um, um, uh, if you go by the apparent logic, much more often than not, this decision is going to go wrong. Right? You know what I'm talking about. And then in retrospect, in retrospect, you say, ha, I knew it. I knew it. But I mean, like, did you really, did you really, did you really know it? Um, uh, you knew it somehow, right? Some, somehow, you had an apprehension of the mismatch between your, your sense of the situation and the way you were thinking. The, mm, 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 the funny feeling was letting you know this way, the, the way you were conceptualizing the situation doesn't jive with your, your, your resonance with the whole. Um, but that, so, mm, mm, that there was that, mm, mm, but it wasn't, that information wasn't formatted in a way that you could think logically, sequentially with it, right? 
So that's the experience, that's the experience of uncertainty. There is some, that which is known, that which is formatted, the models, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. They're not, they're not, they're, they're not such satisfying you or they're not satisfying the demands of the situation as you're experiencing it. And yet, what are you to do? So at this point, at this point, people then, um, there, there are two tendencies that, that, that we have, that we, we people have, but that ourselves have, any li that, that, that the living has. And one is to withdraw. In the case of my, in, in the case of my, of my talk, it would have been to call in sick. Um, uh, in, in, uh, 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 or or um, and, and, and to go on to go on um, and and despite the funny feeling, despite the discomfort, despite that that lets you know that something is off with this with this uh, 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 way you're thinking about it, mm, and, and and just deny and go ahead and go ahead anyway. And in both and in both cases, um, uh, uh, you are you are. Um, In, 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 in both cases, you are not operating with a full sense of the situation. So what to do? What to do, really? What to do? What to do but stand it. <laughs> stand it. Stand this anxiety of, of, of uh, stand this anxiety uh, of, of the not fitting, of, of nothing jiving, and just standing, standing it, and, and, seeing, and seeing what happens next. Yeah, I don't know. So now, so these funny feelings, they are the door in, um, uh, or the door in. And, and in terms of measurement, if you want to, a measurement, measurement, um, um, maybe, maybe the, the, the measure of success, the most obvious measure of success, that my, my um, uh, my original clients, they were traders, fund managers, investors, and, um, uh, and, and I teach them a process um, which, which is a step-by-step -step and which I adapt for every person and I, and, and, and I teach that using their actual decisions, their actual portfolios, their actual books, um, the decisions that, that either they've made or they're making. Uh, and then money comes out of the sessions. And they, they make uh, 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 decisions that make money or keep them from losing money um, um, uh, their life. And it's, it's obvious that that's where it's coming from. So there is, there is um, 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 it's, 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 it becomes, it becomes visible. The, the, the effects become, um, the results become visible. Now, now the experience is like how do you measure? It's like the, you come to a decision that sits right in your comfort. You, your, your, your comfort is what is the metric, right? Like when it sits right, you go ahead, and if it sits wrong, you don't. Mm -hmm. And you can, <coughs> you can you can you can you can slowly come to okay, something sits a little bit less off and a little bit better, da, da, da. and sometimes you get, you get something that sits right immediately, and when, when things sit right, then you know it too. You, you are ready to act without either um, contracting in, 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 in fear under the, the, the awareness of uncertainty or having to override your knowing that there is something else. If you answer, not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. We are supposed to do it that we are okay. in a weekly, like a 20 minute kind of transition. So, okay. we got. Yes. Okay, so now, now, okay, so, we, so, so now the experiment now is to see, the experiment now is to see if in any way this will make any difference for your work process, like tonight, tomorrow, and then, and then, and then, and then, and we'll see what will happen. 
So we'll see if it makes any difference, and then how do you know if it made any difference? And okay, maybe or at least that is the plan right now, and we'll see what <laughs> what will come, what will come in between, and and um, possibly ruin the plan. Um, but that's that's my that's my experiment here. Um, yeah. Right. Thanks. <laughs>